Hey, I'm going to show you how to use the program I wrote uh, to make your audio binaural. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the link in the description of uh, this video. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You're going to want to hit this download button at the top right. It's going to take a second and direct download. All right. Okay, that should save it to your downloads folder where you can uh, extract this uh, with whatever file extraction method you have. So once you're done extracting, uh, you're going to want to open up this folder. It's going to have three items in here. You're going to want to read the readme doc first. Uh, once you're done ignoring that last step, uh, you're going to want to go to the HRTF mixer uh, folder and uh, if you sort by type, there should only be one application. This is the HRTF mixer program. You're going to double click that. Uh, Windows might think it's malware or something, but uh, trust me, I'm not smart enough to do anything malicious to your computer. Uh, so no need to be afraid of security issues there. Uh, I've also included a sample audio file that you can use to test out the program at first to get acquainted with it. Um, it only accepts 16-bit .wav files. Uh, so if you don't have a 16-bit .wav file, you're going to want to convert whatever audio you have into one. Um, and you can do that just through Audacity or VLC, I think, even. Um, but yeah, you can just make sure you export it as a 16-bit .wav file. So if I click and drag that into this box, a second window is going to pop up. Uh, and there are a few buttons on here. Uh, I've explained this before on this channel, but just really quickly again, this moves the sound around you where uh, the north position is in front. This is to the right, uh, behind, and to the left of you. This controls uh, elevation, so it makes the sound move above and below you. So this goes to the top of your head. This goes underneath you. This plot is a combination of those two dials, so this would be directly on top of you, and it's moving an arc down to your right, and you can move around. And finally, this dial uh, changes how close or far the uh, audio sounds, this being the furthest away, this being closer. Uh, and you can control that with your A and D keys. Uh, so while I'm moving this, I can move the audio in and out. Uh, while I do that. Uh, now, uh, to actually start pathing the sound, you're going to want to hit the spacebar, and that's going to start the recording, and you can move around uh, the dot as you do it. So, test audio. I needed a test audio file that started pretty quickly and had rather continuous noise the entire time, so you're listening to my voice right now being recorded on a microphone, and I'm going to keep talking. And you can pause it at any time you want just by hitting space again. And if you hit space, let's say I wanted to reposition here, uh, it'll pick back up where you left off. Yeah, at least for a minute so that I have a nice long continuous amount of audio coming through the signal that's not... And whenever you're done recording, all you need to do to save the file is exit out of the window and it will automatically save that pathed audio. Doing that creates another file here. Uh, with the appendage uh, HRTF at the end of it. Um, and that is going to be the uh, pathed audio following the path that you traced out, uh, at least up to the point where you uh, recorded. And that's it. This should be a fully functioning uh, binaural uh, audio clip. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, Still working out a few bugs and still adding a few features, but uh, other than that, uh, let me know if you have any issues or feature requests. Anyways, thanks for watching.